Hey guys, Predator here. Welcome back to Construction Simulator. Here we are for episode number five. We're gonna get stuck in straight to this parking lot job. We'll accept that. But we need to hire an asphalt paver, and obviously an asphalt machine, etc., etc. So let's go. Yeah, we'll enter the vehicle dealer. We've got the Bomag asphalt stuff. I think that's. Oh no, and the cat. Fifty-nine, eighty, fifty-nine. They're both the same. Let's rent the cat one. And I think we're going to need the asphalt delivery truck as well. But let's see what happens. Uh, do the construction site. It'll done that. Enter the asphalt paver. All right. So let's go and jump in this. So this is where we need our truck and trailer because there's no way we can drive this normally. To a job site. Like if we go flat stick. Um, actually. Yeah, there we go. Eight mile an hour. It'll take us forever to get there. Um, yeah, construction site. So we just go fast travel. Completely ignoring what Hape just said then. So this obviously um, is attract equipment as well so we need to use Q and E um, and that sort of stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around that way we can load from the front extend the paving screen we can load from the front These things still seem to drive too bloody quick. I don't know how they're going to work um, with the control. Right, let's get this thing backwards. I think forwards a little bit. That'll be good. Alright, now we need to rent. Asphalt paver truck. I think is also yeah Mac. There we go. Rent you. Done. I don't know what button. Let's see if I can work it out. B. Aha. B is for our company fleet. I right, enter this guy. Now we can either go and drive down and pick up some asphalt which we might do actually because I think this is going to be a reasonably quick job otherwise we have to get a roller too and bring a roller but we'll drive down, we'll grab the asphalt head back up get it delivered, the asphalt laid down then we'll have to hire a roller as well to roll the asphalt in get it ready to go for the souvenir shop. Now I think that pretty much finishes our um, our sort of our tutorial phase of the game and then we can start doing whatever job we want after that. Swing around to the right. Oh, it's a tight corner. So I'd eventually like to look at the multiplayer side of things. Um, whether we can hire people to work for us or we can work for other people. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Watch out for the truck, we've already damaged it. So maybe we can work for other people um, and make personal money, like as in for us, not for the company, and then we can transfer it from our personal account to construction account, whatever, vice versa. I think that'd be cool though, being able to play multiplayer, work for other people and have them pay us a set rate for doing each job or helping them out or whatever it may be and then being able to transfer that over to our personal account and then to our construction account etc. will be pretty cool I think asphalt, yeah, asphalt's, concrete's here, asphalt's here and the sand and soil and stuff's down the bottom there uh, alright, so there's 
two different spots here. Press K, G for extraction. Um, that might help. Let's open the top first, otherwise it's not going to get put in there. Try and make sure it's central to the truck. get to close the lid before you start driving. There should be more than enough. Alright, let's close the lids. I didn't even see how much that cost us then. And I think we can dump old asphalt into there. And then sell that back, it makes it more money, so that's that's good. There's a spot there we can dump something. Maybe dump our old concrete back into there. Obviously, we can pay one of our employees to do it for us. Happens instantaneously, which is good. But right, so well, we're probably about seventy percent full. Judging by the way it curves, yeah, about seventy percent maybe. That should be enough asphalt to get the job done. But whatever we don't use, we just resell back to them anyway. Whether we get the full price back, not sure. up this hill. Plenty of traffic actually. It's a surprise. It's the most traffic we've seen in a while. Not much of a truck horn, but people know we're coming. Can't see around the corner overly well. Let's keep powering up the bloody hill. So we need 150 grand, I think, to get our construction business up to that next level. I think we've gone up another level too actually. Alright, so we'll go straight through the satellites past the hitchhikers. They're still there. No doubt they're still there. They've been waiting a few days. But no one's picked them up yet. Should be on the bend up here. It looks like they're still there. I don't know where they're going, but they're waiting for someone. Oh, black van. Lucky we don't have a live load. We could have nearly rolled that then. Right, there's the motel. A couple of cars out the front, so they must be getting a little bit of business. Oh, those cars popped in out of nowhere. to the left up here, get an outside view, get our flashing lights and everything going. Alright, so we need to, oop, wrong button, F, don't know if we need to open and close that, ah yeah there we go, we need to, oop, god, not a fan of how aggressive how aggressive the reverse and forward is using the keyboard. Alright, so I wonder if you leave that like that, you now in real life this machine at the back here would normally start and push the truck so the truck would be in neutral um, and the, the paver would actually push this truck forward and it would just follow along when they're doing a big long straight obviously so they, the truck would come in unload and then disappear but I've done roadworks many many years ago in my younger days and yeah, the truck would normally pull up whether it be a truck like this or even just like a normal tipper truck like we had before would tip up, leave it in neutral there'd be bumpers on the front of this paver and it would push it along down the road right, a bit more money why why not let me keep dumping it I don't know, anyway we'll park this guy over here 
not going to empty it yet, just in case we don't quite have enough, but we should be okay. I'll chop up in the paver. Um, controls. Ah, there we go. Press F1. Lights. Camera mode. Camera distance. Camera. That's pretty cool. Construction mode. Function mode. I don't know if that's even doing anything. Horn. Yep, good. Let's go. No. Asphalting on and off. Done. So, can we get rid of that tutorial thing off the screen now? Because you're in the way. I can't see. Alright, there we go. Q and E to go forward. Um, yeah. There we go. It's moved. I'm going to press F1. Oop. We'll try and get a screenshot. There we go. So Q and E to go forward. All the way to the end. Alright. Then it should automatically turn. Wrong button again. I press B, not F. We need to go Q and E, but a little bit more E than Q just to turn to the left. gutter there. There you go, it's another ten thousand dollars or so whatever that's gonna cost us to repair that. This thing takes off backwards, it's crazy. Alright, let's go backwards at that. Yeah this thing is just way too quick in reverse. Q and E, to go forward, back a bit more, paving on, it's hard to sort of keep it straight but we'll get through it, I'm not going to have to worry about that side obviously because we're already at 100%, there we go, done. So that's what I mean, it's like, it's just too, too easy, I guess. Um, we should have had to have done that whole strip at least before it put us to 100%. It's like we're not having to do as much as I would like. Um, Alright, we need to grab a roller. Uh, where are we? Go back to the cats, I guess. We'll get a cat roller. But not a soil compactor, we need an asphalt compactor. Rent you. Right, done. We will uh, enter. Then we can get rid of you and also the paver. Done. And then we'll fast travel to the job site. Alright. Construction view, enter function mode. Function mode's not working. It's compacting disabled. Alright. So function mode's not doing anything. Anyway, let's get this compacted. Not a bad, bad view doing it from here. But obviously you can see a lot more doing it in the outside view. If you guys can hear the compactor in the background vibrating away. So, in real life, obviously, these things, they have, they've got, like, water tanks in them, like you can see here at the front and the back. 
um, and they have water to slowly dribbling down on the rollers just to help cool the asphalt down and make sure the asphalt doesn't stick to the roller itself. I don't know how easy or hard that would be to sort of implement that into the game. In the visual aspect, probably be pretty hard, I would think. Oh, it's 35%. I love asphalt, how it looks once it's rolled. It's so smooth, it looks so good. Lights? No, probably not. It's just hard to see because of the shadows. 46%. Should be at 50 by the end of this run. straight down. So 100, nearly 180,000, I think we need to spend 150 to upgrade or to buy the next part of the business for our, like our campaign objectives and stuff, so that'll be the next thing we do, our money. It's so relaxing doing this, I love it. Do a lot of asphalting jobs. Which I think I was calling that machine a paver that, that lays the asphalt. I don't think it's a paver. I think the paver is what rips the ground up. I think they call that the paver. Which is weird. I think the machine that actually lays, lays the pavement down, the asphalt down will be called the paver, not the other way around. So this is 97%, like I would like to be able to have to do this whole other strip to get 100% but I'm not going to have to obviously. Boom, done. Turn the compactor off. Be first asphalt attempt, not bad at all. Try the construction machine off the construction site and then come to me. So now we've got 267,000. Bonus 88,800 XP. Good. Now where are you, Hape? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hiding over here somewhere. Um, I think we walked in the wrong way. Anyway. Uh, no longer need that, so let's return you. And we'll talk to Hype. Parking lot job completed. Hype had nothing to say. Good job, the asphalt compactor will be a good addition to your fleet. If you decide to buy a construction machine, you can purchase it from the vehicle dealer. Yes, yes, we know. Alright. No other news, nothing else to say. Nope. Right, well, let's go to our company. Let's go to our upgrade levels. So, we need to buy our company premises too. Purchase that. An expansion contract. Uh, where's our expansion contract? Here. Good job with the task. You have completed a level S and advanced to level M. New features improves what you hear. So, where's our expansion contract? Um, it's not wanting us to buy that though, is it? One horse town. Expansion. Alright, accept contract. Speak with Hape. Where are you, Hape? Not here, is he? Don't think he's there. I don't know why it's telling us to... Oh, yeah. Yes, speak with hate. Map. No, he's... All the way down here. Ooh, we can't even fast travel there. We can fast travel to here. Let's 
grab out our flatbed. And to you. So we'll fast travel down there and we'll go and talk to Hape. Down here, fast travel. There's a lot of stuff we can actually unlock around here. I don't know whether I should just go and unlock it off camera or do it with you guys or not. I don't know. So fast travel is usually pretty quick to load, but obviously we haven't been down there in a little while, so it'll take a little bit longer. Um, let's actually turn right here. Job expansion accepted, yep. Turn right here. A thousand metres away. I think there's another gas station around this corner. There seems to be a lot of gas stations around. You can see this is fully repaired, fully refueled. So that's another thing that our mechanic does when we store our equipment. It um, automatically repairs and refuels. Um, turn left. Up here. Go a bit quicker than I thought. Across the bridge. What oh, was the hammer right there? Stop and grab this. Try not to fall in the water. Oh, this guy's hard to control. There we go. Got the hammer. Try not to fall off the ledge. Um, I think we're stuck. Never mind. We can just enter this. I don't have to stress about it. Alright, let's go down and speak with Habe. Hopefully, we can start doing just any contract we want now, yeah, any job. So he must be down... I don't know if this is our other place that we now own, or if this is a different... completely different company. Up around here. Around here, keep swinging to the left. That's a weird road set up there. Into the right. Oh, this must be another one of ours. Uh, actually, I think. Apes around the front, actually. We need to sneak around. Yeah, he's around the front. Can't actually go in until I spoke to him, I don't think. Hazards because we have to pull up right below the bloody road. Speak with hate. Congratulations on the impressive company premises. Thanks, hate. My old company in the village can barely keep up, right? From now on, all paths are wide open to you, and you get to decide what to do next. You'll see, there's plenty to do in this city. Some important stakeholders are constantly fighting for things to improve here one day but there's no active support. There's my old school friend, Mayor Hardfield, the tourism officer, Pam, the exciting and not to be underestimated tech entrepreneur, Sky Dunner, and the rough around the edges harbor master, Liam O'Reilly. They are your go-to people when it comes to exciting and well-paid jobs. If you want to make a difference here, meet them and find out what they're up to with the city. Good luck to you. Take care and see you soon. Ah, oh, thanks, Hape. Alright, so exciting times ahead. Oh, hammer. Um, our next construction company, obviously down in the city, so... be closer to the city to get jobs and stuff. Bigger paying jobs, although I do feel like the jobs do pay way too much. I mean, we're going to expand our company way too quick, I feel. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I, I think, for me, I feel like we do expand way too quick. Uh, open the campaign menu now. Yep, so we've got the maritime tourism. Um, so a lot of jobs through here. It's only five jobs, but it's not too bad. 
Mayor, Urban Space, Educational Officer, so a new college, Eastern Architecture, Shopping Spree, um, Heart of the Town, so like a shopping mall, a park I should say, Interview Technologies, Deep Set Technology, Parking Garage, Vertical Farming Facility, Solar Plants, Hydro Power Plant, Observatory, the Waterways, we've got Risky Tides, so a new Harbour Pier, Container Hotel, a Marina, and a Shipyard. Interesting. So there's, you know, five in this one, four in there, five in there, four in there. So there's still a few more jobs we can do. Once they're all done, then we can go for the fun fair finale. Um, no current active jobs. It just shows our last job. How long it took us. Uh, offers, contracts. So now we can go and do a small transport container. Um, do the road at the harbour. Holiday house, swimming pool. Garage addition, parking lot, mini job for pipes, water system and transport jobs. So these are all just like, you know, real basic, simple jobs, nothing exciting. Um, we might go the road harbour, road refurbishment, fill the area on the construction site and then asphalt compact it afterwards. Yep, awesome. Let's take this job and we'll do that for next episode, I think. Right, map, where's the current job at? Uh, down here, at the harbour. Alright, so that means we're going to have to get um, the mill, we're going to have to get an asphalt, we're going to have to get the paving truck, or the paver, the truck to deliver the asphalt, we're going to have to get the roller. There's a lot of stuff we're going to need to buy. I don't think... Have we unlocked... A vehicle dealer down here somewhere, maybe one of these two. If we enter here. If we look at, um, let's go caterpillar. Was it caterpillar? No, we wanted to go cold planer. There we go. So a cold planer. The Wacker Eunice. So that's ninety thousand seventy nine thousand. Wacker Newson. There's the other paving machines. So that's about the same. Just two different varieties. Yeah, so 80,000. Oh, the, see, the cat stuff's all the same price. Be good to get the cat ash folding stuff and the cold planer. 299. The paver, 299. You could probably afford asphalt compactor. That's it. We're going to have to go and grab the cold planer, bring it down grab these on the truck and that sort of stuff too so I don't think we'll buy them yet but we will look at um, buying them eventually let's see what happens so right out guys we'll, we'll end the episode here hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the episode so far and the current series if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Bruno thanks for watching see you again soon